Nelson Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom. Starting from here, thank me, don't bright and clear. Now, here is the description of tenth me. Okay? Dawned bright and clear. Both are the adjectives used here for the tenth me. Why it was important? I have already taught this chapter. That is why you should know why tenth me important. Because Nelson Mandela has become the South Africa's first black president. Okay. And there was a function, a celebration of their freedom. So that is why 10th May is important. Okay. For the past few days, I had been pleasantly besieged by dignitaries and world leaders who were coming to their respects before the inauguration. It means there was inauguration ceremony there uh, because of uh, he became a first black president in South Africa. So that is why the function celebrated there. For the past few days, he had been pleasantly besieged. It means so many people uh, to be surrounded closely to him, just as dignitaries. Dignitaries, what is the meaning of dignitaries? Tell me. Respected people. Yes, respected people. And the world leaders were collected there to pay their respect before the inauguration because they collected there for respect uh, for the respect of Nelson Mandela in the inauguration ceremony. And the inauguration would be the largest gathering. There was a largest gathering ever of international leaders on South African soil. Where were they? They were there in South African soil. Yani South, uh, South African soil par. Sari jitne bhi respective people the, dignitaries the, who sab baha par aaye the, Nelson Mandela ke yaha is ceremony ko celebrate karne ke liye. Kyunki ye bahut bada ye uh, effective मतलब कि बहुत ज्यादा वो प्रभावित थे उसे इफेक्टिव बहुत ज्यादा इफेक्टिव थे क्यों क्योंकि उन्होंने लॉन्ग वॉक ऑफ फ्रीडम कंप्लीट की थी और उसके बाद वो फ्री हो गए थे और फर्स्ट ब्लैक प्रेसिडेंट बन गए थे ओके देन द सेरेमनी इज टुक प्लेस इन द लवली सैंडस्टोन एम्पी थिएटर फॉर्मड बाय द यूनियन बिल्डिंग्स इन प्रिटोरिया where was the ceremony celebrated in Pretoria, the place name, and where it will it was there in amphitheater. Amphitheater ka meaning I have already told you what is the meaning of open theater. Open theater, yes. For decades he had uh, this had been the seat of white supremacy. But now, uh, for a long period of time, white supremacy were ruling over there in South Africa and now it was the site of a rainbow gathering okay, of different colors and nations for the installation of South Africa's first, first democratic non-racial government. Okay? So, what are you telling For the decades this had been the white supremacy was there and it was the site of a rainbow gathering. Why the author used here the rainbow gathering? Because of different color people will be collected there. And that is why the rainbow gathering is called here of different colors and nations for the installation of South Africa's first uh, democratic non-racial government. Yani ye pahali democratic or non racial government in South Africa. That is why the people were very happy and they collect there. On, the, on that lovely autumn day, which date was autumn day, because of it is, the, it is the month of May and I was accompanied by my daughter Zanani. 
ओके तो व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ हिज डॉटर जिनानी ऑन द पोडियम मिस्टर डी क्लैक वॉज फर्स्ट स्वर्ण इन एज सेकेंड डिप्टी प्रेसिडेंट हु वॉज सेकेंड डिप्टी प्रेसिडेंट फर्स्ट स्वर्ण इन एज अ सेकेंड डिप्टी प्रेसिडेंट हु वॉज मिस्टर डी क्लर्क मिस्टर डी क्लर्क यस अब थागो मबे की वॉज स्वर्ण इन एज फर्स्ट डिप्टी प्रेसिडेंट then it was my turn up now the turn of him okay and whose turn is it was nelson my, mandela who is my here nelson mandela nelson mandela yes i pleased to obey and uphold the constitution and to devote myself to the well being of the republic and its people to the as a world guest and the watching world i said now i pleased to obey kya tha pleased ka matlab kya hota hai pleased ka matlab kya hota hai oath oath lena yes to humne oath li to obey yani aagya palan karne ki and uphold the constitution kiska constitution ko according work karne ka and to devote myself to the well being of the republic or puri tarah se republic republic aur cheezon ko follow karne ka republic ka matlab kya hota hai tomorrow will be republic day hai na then what is the meaning of republic स्वतंत्र नहीं व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ गणतंत्र हां गणतंत्र गणतंत्र यस एंड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ गणतंत्र इन इंग्लिश रिपब्लिक तो रिपब्लिक का मतलब क्या होता है फलक कैन यू टेल समथिंग अबाउट रिपब्लिक हिमता पीपल्स गवर्नमेंट इलेक्टेड बाई पीपल ये तो सही है बट बट जो गवर्नमेंट ने चलो इलेक्टेड बाई गवर्नमेंट हो गया लेकिन अब इसके बाद में चलिए उसी को भी अपने लीडर बना दिया एक मेन उसको प्राइम मिनिस्टर बना दिया तो अब ये रिपब्लिक हो गया क्या देखिए असाइट ऑफ रूल एंड रेगुलेशन इन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अकॉर्डिंग टू इट वी विल वर्क ओके so this one is the called republic okay although the people will be uh, selected by the main main batao selected by the people other people the leader is uh, leader is chosen by the uh, public but a set of rules and regulations republic means batao followed them ha bolo bolo kya bata rahe ho who is here a state in which supreme power is held by the people and their elected representative and which has an elected or nominated ना? president ha kai se dekh ke bol rahe ho na ha main bata rahi hu kai se dekh ke bol rahe ho wahi cheez main keh rahi hu ki here jo ek constitution hota hai uske rules aur regulations ko follow karna it is must for us lekin agar wo maan lijiye koi pm ban gaya aur he will do all the work according to himself तो फिर थोड़ी चलेगा ये उसको मतलब डेमोक्रेसी का मतलब ये नहीं है कि एक व्यक्ति को चूज कर लिया और वो कुछ भी करने लग गया तभी तो सेट ऑफ रूल रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस इज नेसेसरी फॉर अस तभी तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बना है उसमें लॉ है उसके अकॉर्डिंग हमको वर्क करना है सारे सेक्शन है उन सेक्शन के अकॉर्डिंग हमें सब कुछ फॉलो करना है उन्हें क्योंकि इससे किसी की मन मर्जी ना चल सके ओके तो इसीलिए ये सेट ऑफ जो रूल्स और रेगुलेशंस है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन है उसको ही लागू किया गया था और उसी के अकॉर्डिंग हम वर्क कर रहे हैं और उसी के अकॉर्डिंग हम सब चल रहे हैं तो यही रिपब्लिक कहलाता है ओके टू द एज एम वर्ल्ड गैस इन द वॉचिंग वर्ल्ड आई साइड टूडे ऑल ऑफ अस आज हम सब बाय आवर प्रेजेंस 
कन्फर ग्लोरी एंड होप टू न्यू वॉर्न लिबर्टी उसने कहा कि हम न्यू वॉर्न लिबर्टी को क्या करेंगे ग्लोरी और होप प्रोवाइड कराएंगे आउट ऑफ द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ एन एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी ह्यूमन डिजास्टर किसके किसके कारण एक एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी ह्यूमन डिजास्टर उन्होंने झेला है दैट लास्ट इज टू लॉन्ग लंबे समय तक लंबे समय से वट वी वॉर्न अ सोसाइटी ऑफ विच ऑल ह्यूमेनिटी विल बी प्राउड और हमारी ऐसी सोसाइटी है जिसमें हम सब क्या करेंगे सोसाइटी ऑफ विच ऑल ह्यूमेनिटी विल बी प्राउड जिस पर हमारी पूरी ह्यूमेनिटी जो है वो प्राउड करेगी बी हु आउट लास्ट नॉट सो लॉन्ग एगो हैव टूडे बीन गिवन द रेयर प्रेवलाइज टू बी होस्ट टू द नेशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ऑन आर ऑन स्वाइल बी हु आउट लास्ट नॉट सो लॉन्ग एगो यानी हम लंबे समय से जो हुवर आउट लास्ट नॉट सो लॉन्ग एगो बिना लॉस के हम उनकी झेल रहे थे पाते टॉलरेट कर रहे थे क्योंकि वाइट सुपर में से की अब हमको वो नहीं करना है Have today been given the the rare privilege to be the host to be host nations of the world on our soil. और अब हम क्या है होस्ट है और हमने बहुत सारे लोगों को इन्वाइट किया है बहुत सारे नेशन के लीडर्स को इन्वाइट किया है कहा पर ऑन सॉइल इट मीन साउथ अफ्रीका में बी थैंक ऑल ऑफ आर डिस्टिंग इंटरनेशनल गेस्ट जाने पहचाने इंटरनेशनल गेस्ट का हम डिस्टिंग Uh, मतलब जो कि जाने पर डिस्टिंग मतलब जाने पहचाने इंटरनेशनल गेस्ट जो यहाँ पर आए हैं और हैविंग टू कम टेक पोजिशन विद पीपल ऑफ आवर कंट्री ऑफ वॉट इज आफ्टर ऑल कॉमन विक्ट्री फॉर जस्टिस और ये हम सब के लिए क्या है एक कॉमन विक्ट्री है फॉर जस्टिस न्याय के लिए फॉर पीस पीस के लिए एंड फॉर ह्यूमन डिग्निटी और मानवीय डिग्निटी एंड शान के लिए मतलब समझौता नहीं करना है हमको वाइट सुपर मेसी के साथ अब हमें क्या मिलेगा जस्टिस मिलेगा पीस मिलेगा और डिग्निटी मिलेगी जो ह्यूमन बींग्स को मिलनी चाहिए बिकॉज ऑफ बी आर फ्री नाउ अब हम क्या है फ्री हो चुके हैं मतलब वाइट सुपर मेसी से आजाद हो चुके हैं एंड नाउ नेल्सन मंडेला वी कैन द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ साउथ अफ्रीका बी हैव एट लास्ट achieved our political um, emancipation and from we please sorry we have at last achieved our political emancipation yani ab hame political roop se rajnitik roop se bhi freedom mil gayi hai hum pe se restrictions hat gaye hain kya restrictions the uh, black people par kya restrictions the do you know about their uh, restrictions I have already told you this chapter. So, do you know what are the restrictions for them? Black peoples were not allowed to uh, take participation in any government activity or formation of government. Yes, and uh, in higher posts, they are not. They um, were not selected, and that is why the environment of this area was so much disturbed, and. Uh, it means the white supremacy always ruled over there and they tortured to black people they never given the similar place to them we have at last achieved political emancipation we please ourselves to liberate all our people from the continuing bondage of poverty deprivation suffering gender and other discrimination okay देखिए बी प्लेस आर सेल्स हम क्या करते हैं ओथ लेते हैं शपथ लेते हैं टू लिबरेट आजाद होने की आल आर पीपल फ्रॉम द कॉन्टिन्यूंग बॉन्डेज ऑफ पॉवर्टी यानी जो हम लगातार सफर कर रहे हैं किससे पॉवर्टी की वजह से गरीबी की वजह से डिप्राइवेशन वंचितता की वजह से सफरिंग और कष्टों की वजह से जेंडर मतलब सफरिंग जेंडर यानी विमन को बिल्कुल भी वहां पर रिलैक्सेशन नहीं था चीजें सफरिंग जेंडर एंड अदर डिस्क्रिमिनेशन और बहुत सारे भेदभाव थे जो कि वहां पर किए जा रहे थे किनके लिए ब्लैक पीपल के लिए नेवर नेवर एंड नेवर अगेन सैल इट दैट दिस ब्यूटीफुल लैंड 
will again experience the operation of one via another. Never, never. Kabhi nahi, kabhi nahi. Never. Again, salad. Aisa hoga. That this beautiful land will again experience the operation of one by another. Yani, ek ke dwara, dusre ko operation karna, torture karna. It means the white people torture to black people. It will be never happen in this uh, beautiful land of South Africa. The sun shall never set on so glorious a human achievement. Or, jo glorious achievement, yani jo unho ne sotantrata prapt ki hai, freedom prapt ki hai, uske liye sun shall never set. Yani unki sotantrata ka sun jo hai, wo kabhi bhi set and chipega nahi. Let freedom reason. It means, Sotantra hamesa kya karegi? Reason, yani shashan karegi, God bless Afrika. Afrika ko God bless kare. Acha. Tell me, where did the ceremonies take place? At Pretoria in South Africa. Yes. Sandstone amphitheater. The ceremony took place in South Africa. At, at Pretoria in South Africa. Okay. Can you name some any public buildings in India that are made of sandstone? Yes, <coughs> red fort etc. are all the same. They are all the same. And there are many such buildings that are made of sandstone. Can you say how can we is an ऑटम डे इन साउथ अफ्रीका कैसे ऑटम डे है साउथ अफ्रीका में टेल मी ये इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन भी है हाउ इफ इट मीन स्टैंड में इज द ऑटम डे इन साउथ अफ्रीका बताइए कैसे Because the problems and suffering of black people was totally removed from their lives and they were hoping for a new government. Just as the, uh, the poet is saying about the, it means, so, uh, sorry, author is saying about the tree, just like the tree in South Africa and now all the leaves sad here, okay? Kill chukki now, up kya New leaves will be here. And so that is why it is just like the autumn day in South Africa because of new rules and regulation will be formed according to their constitution and democracy will be there. So that is why the author used for it kya? autumn day. Clear to you? Just okay, now. At the beginning of this speech, Mandela mentioned an extraordinary human disaster. What does it mean? What does he mean by this? Kya tha? An extraordinary human disaster. The racial discrimination among the peoples in South Africa. Yes, this one is called disaster of human disaster. Because of the white supremacy always rule over the black people and they torture them. That is why it may be called the human disaster. What does he mean by this? What is the glorious human achievement? He speaks at the end. What was the glorious achievement? Nelson Mandela became the first black president of South Africa. And first of all, what, he, what will you write? South Africa got freedom. Ye to likho gaya na? Then, yes, ma'am. Then, uh, then uh, he became the first black president of South Africa. And this was the glorious achievement for human beings of, uh, 
for all human beings okay what does mandela thank the international leaders for tell me kya thank diya tha unhone for coming in the inauguration ceremony ha ah, because of uh, it was a great day why it was a great day because of uh, they It's have the taken relief common from victory the for justice an extraordinary human disaster now it is a glorious human achievement for them that he became the black president of south africa now uh, they are free from the white people white supremacy and that is why they were happy and he thanked to international leaders for coming there what ideals does he set out for the future of south africa kya ideals unhone fix kiye the they place to liberate their peoples from the bondage of poverty deprivation sufferings yes. and all the other discriminations yes discrimination point diye hai hai ek to discrimination diya hai ek kya diya hai a bondage of poverty ha deprivation suffering deprivation, gender yes. and discrimination okay so these are the things which are which will be right ab ye dekhiye sabse important question mujhe ye theek lag raha hai aur isko pad lena iske baad ye wala ye questions aapko mil sakte hain okay okay ma'am okay tomorrow we will uh, discuss next thank you have a nice day all of you Thank you.